Hello guys, um, today we are testing uh, and comparing two weather uh, welder stations. So I actually have the cheapest version available and also the more high-end version SLS. So this is the cheapest one, WE1010, which is a learning unit. You can see it has 85 watts and it's made in Mexico. So yeah, that's pretty cool. This one is a little bit heavier. Um, it's a WT1H with 150 watts. So it's quite heavier and also has the ports for uh, data logging and more buttons and a bigger display than the other one. So we'll see how they compare. I have to say that I'm not using them as a professional just for a hobby. So this is the welder end for the cheaper version. It's WP70 I think. Uh, the plug is uh, it's the same and on, on both units so it's interchangeable. This is the WP120 which is a significant, uh, significantly uh, lighter and uh, shorter than the other one. So I see the plugs are the same. Um, yeah. They feel okay in hand, both of them. I prefer the smaller one, but it's also not that big, it can be used. The tips that come in the box are the same size, um, but they're different, so you cannot change this uh, between the two units. So this is a really small one. You can see the heating element inside. And um, yeah, the system is quite clear and easy to use, also easy to open when it's uh, warm because you have the plastic cover. As for the uh, other one, it's, let's say, almost the same, but this one looks quite different, see. So, yeah, I prefer the WP120 because of the size, so it's quite nice. So this came in the box, which is, feels okay, looks solid, uh, the sponge needs to be wet in order for it to expand, but this is quite okay. This one looks a little, lot nicer, but uh, you see some corrosion here from using plain tap water, but yeah, it's heavy and nice, it holds the, the welder end quite well. This, is, this one is not so bad either, so they look the same. As for the front, it was, they, they powered up the same. The, the dif main difference between these two units will be the um, heating time. So you can see that uh, the wind on the right, which is the most expensive one, it's actually, uh, it takes just a few seconds to get to temperature. As for the other one, I think it's double the time. That's also, I think, because of the power. The, the unit on the right has um, 150 watts, so it's double almost the power of the other unit. But uh, when they get to temperature, it's, they behave basically the same. The only main uh, difference I, you see on the front is that the display is bigger and it has a light, and there's uh, four buttons instead of three. So yeah, so now both units are on the same temperature. We'll take a look a little bit at the, at the menu. So this is uh, the standby, offset, and uh, temperature display and lock. That's it. Don't need anything else. I, do, I don't use any other functions uh, in that uh, that menu. There's one more function for the other one, which is it's called window. I have no idea what it does. I didn't even read the manual, so I don't care. So we'll try to use this uh, solder which has lead in it, so it's easier to to use. So you can see it melts it really fast, no problems with my shaky hands. Oops, the sponge is uh, dry, so I didn't didn't want to to try to clean the tip. Also, this one, super fast, super easy. They work great. I think both of the units. Uh, are working great, but if you do not use it uh, professionally or 
Otherwise, I don't know why. Why would you buy the the expensive one? You can get the the cheaper version, which is half the price, and it works well. This is actually called the learner's uh, unit, learner's kit. It comes with um, with everything you need to to begin uh, welding. Maybe do you guys who are using these professionally can tell me what those functions are. I don't need them. I don't need them, use them. I just keep the uh, unit at 170 and basically that's it. So thank you and uh, we'll see you again at the, uh, the next video.